Principle 2, Curriculum and Instruction. The Department of Education highlights the functions of curriculum and instruction, which ensures that the organization focuses on the delivery of a relevant, responsive, and effective basic education curriculum around which all stakeholders in the community provide support. To integrate the school-based management systems, the CRSHS focuses on achieving excellence in Area B curriculum and instruction. The curriculum learning systems anchored on the community and learners' context and aspirations are collaboratively developed and continuously improved. Despite the pandemic, education must continue to be provided to meet the educational needs of all types of learners in terms of learning outcomes and products. The CRSHS adheres to Dep Ed Order No. 12 Series of 2020, the adoption of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan for school year 2020-2021 in the light of the COVID-19 public health emergency. Moreover, the school's LCP was discussed to the stakeholders through a detailed online and a limited face-to-face -face presentation. CRSHS teachers reskilling and upskilling manifest in-service professional development and providing appropriate advancement as they continuously improve their teaching proficiency in the new normal. Consequently, a series of webinars were conducted to address the current normal situation, thereby equipping teachers with varied online trainings on the different blended learning approaches from June to July 2020. These include using Google Meet as an online instruction delivery mode, Google Classroom, Flip Classroom, Schoology, Khan Academy, and Edmodo as platforms for remote learning, Kahoot as learning systems, and Remind as a mobile messaging platform. The unprecedented health crisis did not hinder the teachers of CRSHS from delivering quality education that is localized and contextualized. Despite the new normal setup, students were still able to come up with very creative, impressive, and highly localized outputs. This principle also highlights the applicability of the said lessons to the life of students in the community through the various school community projects and extension services since the curriculum learning systems are anchored on the context of the community and learners. And COVID-19 did not stop us from conducting community extension programs in relation to the subjects offered to contextualize students' learning experience. The area also emphasizes the best practices in the utilization of localized instructional materials which could be mainstreamed and benchmarked by other schools. And as a leading institution, our school-initiated modules were used by other high schools in the division during the first quarter. Our stakeholders, on the other hand, have a significant role and are highly involved in the development and continuous improvement of the curriculum. A solid evidence is the implementation of a unified and integrative final task for the grade 11 students, which we intend to apply across grade levels. Caraga Regional Science High School, together with community stakeholders, in its continuing efforts to develop quality methods and learning materials despite the pandemic, ensures that learning approaches and materials are not just developed to reinforce strengths and address deficiencies, but are being used in school, in the family, and in the community to develop critical, creative thinking and problem-solving community of learners and are producing desired results amidst the new normal. These learning materials include visual aids, locally developed workbooks and worksheets, school-initiated and developed learning modules for blended and distance learning, and other learning resources. Locally developed learning resources used in distance learning with ICT-based instructions in online classes served as avenue in developing critical thinking skills which radiated to family and community. 
The monitoring system through Pangumusta, which stands for Parents and Academe Negotiation Goals, Undertakings and Modular Online Schemes, Testing and Adjustments, helps us understand the plight of our learners and parents, which paved the way to establishing consistent communication system. As a result, during the pandemic, parents can be reached via social media by providing Google Forms and links as a means of gathering feedback. In addition, all subject teachers created a Facebook Messenger group chat to keep parents updated on their children's progress. CRSHS focuses on ensuring quality education by continuously reviewing and improving appropriate assessment tools, implementing contextualized and localized instructional materials to strengthen teaching, learning, and for the attainment of relevant life skills. Test results were analyzed to see whether the students have mastered the competencies. These results are reflected on each item analysis and quarterly assessment report or CPT to monitor the mastered and unmastered competencies which will also be the basis for remediation and additional activities if necessary. Teachers' portfolios were substantiated, highlighting the best practices used in their classes and the new normal. Since students are 21st century learners, teachers continually assure that their lessons are ICT integrated to develop the skills needed. Caraga Regional Science High School continues to promote learning environments that adhere to child's rights and protection policies. The learning managers and facilitators observe learners' rights from designing the curriculum to structuring the whole learning environment. And during the pandemic, selected students attended virtual symposia and conferences on child protection policy and anti-drug abuse. On the other hand, these relevant concepts are also integrated in teachers' instructions and lessons, especially in MAPE and DRRM subjects. Track records and any form of child abuse are updated, and awards received relative to child protection, DRRM, and drug prevention program are highlighted. Our students continue to excel at the international, national, regional, and division levels in a variety of co-curricular activities. They were even the champion International Arts Month citywide event despite the limited students' engagements and bagged first place in Discurso and second place in Balak Suriganon and poster making in the provincial level. It is evident that there is continuous exchange of information, sharing of expertise and materials among the schools, home, and community for the development of self-directed learners. The program is mainstreamed but continuously improved to make relevant to emergent demands. The demands on education during the pandemic are high, but at CRSHS, parents and alumni help by providing financial and in-kind assistance such as bond papers and duct tapes for module reproduction. To ensure that learnings continued throughout pandemics, teachers develop school-based modules in addition to division-based modules. The collaboration of teachers, parents, administrators, and stakeholders help our learners receive a high-quality basic education upholding Sulong Idukalidad in CRSHS, Division of Surigao City. Making SBM as a way of life further strengthens Principle 2, Curriculum and Instruction, hence ensuring the delivery of quality, localized, and contextualized instructions that are collaboratively developed and continuously improved where stakeholders are highly involved. In CRSHS, excellence is at its best.